good friend, Luella Baker Martin. Thank you, Fred. I'm very honored to speak to you today. Commencement is a celebration of your great work. Today is your day. Let's give our graduates one more round of applause. Before you walk across the stage and onto the rest of your life's journey, I want to tell you one story, and I hope it relates to you and this very important time in your life. It's a story about my grandfather, a man who started his life as an Englishman and ended up a true Texan. And like all good stories, it's an adventure. In the 1870s, my grandfather, James Baker, was a young boy from Edgham, England. His father was a Methodist minister. At that time, Methodists were facing religious persecution in England. So they decided to leave for Texas. But the trouble started even before they left England. They had to leave everything they owned behind them, only a few possessions. To put it in modern terms, not even a single iPhone. They were fleeing the country, and the boat that they were going to take left without them. They missed their first boat out. Can you imagine how crushing it must be to literally miss the boat? I can only imagine how they must have felt. But sometimes hardships are actually blessings. That boat sank in the Atlantic Ocean. I believe that God has a plan for everything in life. They took a second boat all the way from England to Galveston to have the courage to step onto that second boat, knowing that the first one had sunk, still amazes me. They were people of great faith. You have a journey ahead of you. Life will take you from the comfortable shores of home and out into the rough seas of the world. It will send you to unfamiliar climates, places unsettled, and parts unknown. And time and time again, life will ask you, are you ready for an adventure? <coughs> the pioneer's answer is yes. Thank you very much for letting me share this day with you. Congratulations and good luck as you go forward. And may God bless you. And may God bless Texas Wesleyan University.